close your eyes and make up your mind you're going to stay with the breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out, and try to maintain that original intention. There'll be parts of the mind that will cooperate and other parts that don't cooperate. The ones who want to think about something else or complain about the noise or complain about the weather, complain about whatever. But you don't have to listen to them. You're trying to develop some good qualities in the mind, and that requires that you take sides inside your mind. You're going to side with this intention against any other intention that's going to pull you away. As the Buddha said, when you win out over yourself, it's much better than winning out over thousands and thousands of people. Because victory outside can turn back into defeat very easily. But when you've won out over yourself, you've established a, an important victory that your greed, aversion, and delusion don't have to take over, that you can take over them, you can overcome them. So when you set your mind on doing something that you know is good, nothing is going to come in and sabotage your efforts. So it's important that you train the mind. It's important that you choose which parts of the mind you want to side with, because the mind is like a committee. Lots of different opinions, lots of different agendas. You're inside this one mind. Greed has its agendas, and lack of greed has its agendas. Wisdom has its agendas. So you've got to decide which ones you're going to side with. Try to side with the ones that would lead to long-term welfare and happiness. That, the Buddha said, is a sign of wisdom. In fact, it's the beginning of wisdom when you ask that question, what, when I do it, will lead to my long-term welfare and happiness? What, when I do it, will lead to my long-term harm and pain? So you have to think about the long-term. You can't go just by your moods or just by what you feel like doing right now. You have to remember that your actions have consequences. So when you're about to say something, ask yourself, is, what are the long-term consequences of this going to be? And John Fuhling used to like to say, think before you speak. Don't have to think after you spoke. Because when you think after you spoke, then you say, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have said that. But you can't go back and undo it. If you think beforehand, then you can stop yourself in time. So as we meditate, keeping the mind with the breath, we're developing mindfulness, we're developing alertness. We're developing ardency to make sure that we do this well. Mindfulness is what keeps it in mind. Alertness is what notices what's actually going on. As these qualities get strengthened, then you come out victorious more and more often. So make sure that you get these qualities on your side. So that when you decide that something is for your long-term well-being, you, you stick with it. Nothing comes in and turns traitor, takes away your victory. And this way you win out over yourself. Now think of it better, though, as winning out over the unwise voices in your mind. Side with the wise voices. Give them the victory. And then as for whether you win outside or not, that doesn't matter. Because as the Buddha said, outside victories can turn into defeat very easily. You end up creating karma, sometimes just, just doing whatever you want, whatever you think is necessary to win out. And oftentimes you create bad karma that way. But when you win out inside, then there's no bad karma at all. So there are no bad consequences to this kind of victory. Nobody's going to come around trying to seek revenge. Because when your wise voices win out inside, they're going to be acting in a way that's for your good and for the good of others. And that way everybody comes out winning. <laughs>